All right, an NWSL match day 12 kicks off Saturday. The Chicago Red Stars taking on Bay FC. That game at 7.30 p.m. on ION. And it's time now for our Geico hotline. We welcome in Kayla Sharples of Bay FC. You're heading back home for you, back to Illinois to face your former club, back in your home team. So before we dive into what life is like at Bay FC now and how your adjustment is, what are you looking forward to most about this game and going back home? I'm so excited to be home. This is probably the far, uh, the longest time away that I've spent from Chicago and my friends and family uh, around five, six months. So I'm just excited to be in my city. Um, but most importantly, this is such a historic game um, to be the first NWSL game to be played at Wrigley Field. Um, is an honor. Um, I'm so excited. I've been a Cubs fan growing up. So to be able to play on that field in that stadium with all the history behind it in front of so many friends and family. Uh, it's just something that as all these players, like we can never forget. It's going to be something that we're going to remember for a lifetime. Kayla, that's awesome. I mean, I see a smile on your face when you mention it. It's, it's like unavoidable, right? That feeling that you're going to be playing in an iconic American sports venue and you're from the area. What was it like growing up and did you ever think that you would be playing professional sports in Wrigley Field? I never dreamt of it, no, and it is a dream. Um, I was telling my teammates just this whole week, like, do we know, do they know how special this is um, to be a part of this movement? I mean, women's soccer in general across the globe has just been skyrocketing and specifically in the U.S. too. So to be a part of the history, to be a part of change um, is very special. And to be just to play on that field, there's just so much history. And I was actually um, there for when the Cubs won in 2016, I was at, I think, like game four or five. And then um, my, a, a ton of my friends, We I went to Northwestern also, so a real oh, Chicago nice. base. Um, and we went down, we were on Clark Street, on the street. I mean, it was packed watching game seven. Um, all the bars are already like packed. So we were just on the street watching through and just like, there's so much excitement. And like, I hope that women's soccer, we can bring that too to the city of Chicago and to Wrigley Field. And hopefully this isn't the last time that a women's professional soccer team plays on that field. What are your friends and family saying? They're excited to see me. I mean, they're stoked. Honestly, they have already like bought 60 to 70 tickets um, that wow. are going to be at. Oh, that's amazing. Here. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of support there. And I'm just grateful that they get to see me play on the biggest stage on an iconic field. Um, and it's going to be a beautiful day, too. So they're just so excited. And I'm just so grateful that they're there able to see me play the sport that I love. Um, yeah, and just make some history. Just just last one on that, because this is so special. Does it feel like a full circle moment for you to be able to go back home to Chicago and, and play on that field? Absolutely. I think um, when I heard that we were playing at Wrigley Field, I was like, it's meant to be. I mean, this is perfect. I was so excited. It's kind of hard to put those my excitement into words mm -hmm. um because it could have been any game right any game and i was just I so happened to be that it was bay fc that we get the chance and this opportunity to play at wrigley field so um yeah i'm just so happy a full circle moment for sure especially since i've been a cubs fan um it's going to be pretty special and surreal stepping on that field for the first time on saturday You've had two goals in back-to-back uh, -back games, I believe two goals in your first 10 games. Just for you, doing anything differently with Bay FC, the way that you're playing, are you playing more of an attacking role as well as, as not sitting back as much in the defending role? Like, what's been different for you with this club? Yeah, I think um, it was a fresh start for me. Um, I enjoyed my time at Chicago, um, but there's something about kind of you know, turning the new leaf, turning the new chapter. And so to be able to do that at Bay FC, I think I had a lot more confidence. I think it was something where I could fresh, uh, have a fresh start. And not only just me, but all of my teammates, you know, are having this fresh start at this new club that's really doing it right. So it's just special to be a part of. And I'm just doing anything that I can to help the team win, help the team succeed. It's it's our first season. It's going to always be a tough one. I knew that coming in, there's going to be learning curves, ups and downs, but I think that um, we have the right staff and the coaching staff and the philosophy that we want to go on. And um, so, yeah, I just kind of really have tried to buy into this foundation. Um, we're a, definitely a possession-oriented team, which has been different than what I've been used to in the past. So just 
working on that and just being confident every single day. And yeah, I've had some great services from team teammates. So that's how I've gotten the goals. And I love that I'm able to also get some goals in the back of the net, you know, because as a defender, you know, our job is never really to have that glory. So um, that's been really special um, to be able to do this with my team and to celebrate those moments with the team. Kayla, I want to dive deeper on that because like you mentioned, it is difficult starting a club from scratch with players that obviously have never played for the club before, everyone playing together for the first time. You've played all over the world, um, but what are the specific challenges about kind of making that ideology, making it stick, right? And and really portraying those values of, of what the club wants to be onto the field because it, it hasn't been the best start. So what are the challenges in making that happen? I think first, when you're bringing all these new people and we have a ton of internationals too. So we have all these personalities, these characteristics, talents that um, are worldly, right? Like, um, so it's, I think the... The staff did such a great job bringing in these talented players, but they're not only to, only talented soccer players, they're great human beings. And they want to buy into the philosophy and the foundation that the club wants to set. And so I think that is something that like just kudos to this club that, that they've been able to do that. Um, that's the first step. You need to buy into what we're building here. I think something that's been difficult too when you have all these players is building that chemistry. It's still taking some time day in and day out. You have, you're playing teams, you know, that have been so well established, um, but there is a lot of parity in this league. And so that's something um, I love playing the NWSL because any given day, any given game, someone can win and beat anyone else. So I think just reminding ourselves to having that belief that, you know, we are having a rough start to the season, but every single day we're showing up, we're being competitive, we want to win, and we want to be a club that is going to win championships in the future. Um, and hopefully, you know, it still can be this season. So just having that mindset day in, day out, being positive, having that belief, those are the challenges, but just trying to remain calm in the storm. You sound so proud to be associated with this Bay FC club and in, in its expansion year. Just how has soccer in the Bay Area been received by fans and how do you feel being part of just this this new wave of as we talked about just the way this game continues to grow and grow and to be part of an expansion club when women's soccer is such a focus right now just what does that mean to you and like I said as well just what, how has the support been so far from fans in the area I am so proud to be part of this club um, we have had the best support system in our fans. I mean, every single home game is just, it get, has given me chills. Uh, it's almost always a sellout crowd. They're cheering the whole entire time, being loud. Like we've said it so many times, but they've been the 12th man out there. Like when we've gone down or just when we've scored, like it is insane. The atmosphere is electric. That's the only way I can put it. They help us bring chaos to the games and the teams and, um, They've just really motivated motivated us, and we want to win for the fans and for this community and for the Bay Area. Like, we appreciate their support. We hear them, and we want to give back to them by winning. You know, so it's been it's we've had just an overwhelming amount of support from the Bay Area, and I think that they just love having a women's professional soccer team back in the area. And so we're just doing our part in any way possible to keep them engaged and keeping them entertained. Kayla, thank you so much for taking the time. Enjoy this weekend. We're so excited for you. Enjoy that moment in front of all of your family and your friends, and we hope it's really special for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.